It's now time for Mark Hankins, Faith for Every Nation. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. Welcome to Faith for Every Nation. I'm Mark Hankins. This is my wonderful wife, Trina, and we're glad to bring you a message on faith today, the spirit of faith. And we have a guest today that knocked your socks off. <laughs> <laughs> and Brother Kenneth Copeland. Wow. We are so thrilled to have oh, you on the program God. and right. the Victory Network. Now, you know what? I, now, you know, I've watched you guys over and over and over again, and the way you present faith is so vitally important and what really um, advertises your faith to me is to a team yeah <laughs> all the time yeah all the time yeah we stay together and instead of fighting each other we you fight to fight the, the fight faith together. Yes, yes. That's the way Gloria and I have been all these years. <laughs> yeah. When we got married, um, Mark gave me, before we got married, he gave me this card. It says, two people is not looking at each other, but yeah, walking so that, in the same direction. Yeah. And then he added the verse, Hebrews 12, 2, looking oh, yes. unto Jesus. Looking yeah. unto Jesus, the, the author and, and the finisher, finisher of our faith. Yeah. And uh, that's how we started, and that's how we keep going. Praise God. Yeah. <laughs> that's wow. good. Yeah, and so we're very thankful to be with you yeah. today, Brother thank Copeland, you. and thank you for taking the time to be with us. Oh, praise thank God. Thank you for the Victory yeah. Network. You know, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland give us free time daily, Monday through Friday, and, uh, you know, we're very thankful for that. And it's changed our lives. And you said it's like a dream to have a 24 yes. hour faith network, yeah. mm -hmm. and your dream. Cause our dream to come to pass. Well, back, like I was saying yesterday when we were on the radio, because I got hold of it, I, you know, by the time World War II was over, um, I had just turned five years old the day before they bombed Pearl Harbor. So by the time that war was over with, I was almost 10. I, so, I, man, I remember it. I remember stuff that went on. And I'm just right in the middle of it, I was raised out there in Abilene, Texas, and, there, mm -hmm. and there at Camp Barkley was just a little ways from there, and the entire Air Force mm -hmm. Base, which is now Dice Air Force Base in Abilene. Mm -hmm. and, and it was, and all of this was right around me all the time. I mean, this is all everybody thought about. Yeah. But people were so completely and absolutely totally committed, mm -hmm. and they were learning how to do things that they didn't know they could do. Yeah. And they, then like I mentioned, they had that uh, uh, total, total immersion language. Yeah, group. yeah. That if, if, that if we could, if I, if I could just get into the, if I just get into it night and day like this and not, not do anything yeah. else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it, within six weeks, they were, they were fluent in a language. Ah. But you couldn't mix it with English. Uh, you had to, you had to. Isolate. Yeah, yourself you can't in mix. That. You can't get into into your CDs. Uh, then say, I'm yeah. gonna get into this, and I'm gonna yeah. stay in it. Well, now wait a minute. You know, now wait a minute. That other group over there said, "No, you don't. You don't mess it up." Wow. If 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 you're gonna walk night and day in faith, if if, if you're gonna if you're gonna develop your faith, that you just you just mentioned mm -hmm. the author and the finisher. Yeah. As you know. That Greek word is developer, yeah. finisher. Yeah. It's used like a finished carpenter. Yeah. Now you you don't you don't want a you don't want a regular carpenter doing the cabinets. There's uh -huh. going to be big old half moon hammer yeah. marks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want the finish guy He's to come. A finisher, in. yeah. They need a finisher. And this is back in the days when you didn't somebody else didn't build the cabinets. Uh -huh. He was the finisher, yeah. the finish yeah. worth. The, 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 he's the finisher of our faith. Mm -hmm. But Mark, Trina, he can't develop something you don't put in his hands. Uh huh. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. If you don't put that in his hands, hmm. what we're saying here is this. Um, I, I remember this. 
the very first thing, I mean, number one, I mean, we were, like Charles Capps said, we were so broke we couldn't pay attention. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> and uh, I thought, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this thing, and I'm still a student there at Old Roberts University, and I'm hearing all this. Man, I'm flying for Brother Roberts. I'm, I'm yeah. going to the meetings. I'm seeing him uh, preach. I'm listening to Brother Hagin on tape night and day. And I, I was getting a little yeah. money along. Now, I, need, I needed some sock, man. <laughs> really some sock. I really needed some sock. We didn't have any money. Yeah. And I thought, I've got to have some socks. And so I scraped together enough money, and I, and I, I, I went to the show. You know, there wasn't any Walmart yeah. back there at the end. I mean, yeah. I went to the store, and I heard the Lord, why don't you believe for socks? Uh, yeah. <laughs> My first thought was, can you do that? Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, legal. well, of course you can do that. <laughs> and I, I don't know, I, I sold, f you know, 50 cents or yeah. something, whatever it was, for socks. Yeah. I got covered up in socks. <laughs> I mean, people would just, pe my, I mean, somebody would say, Brother Copeland, I was just thinking about you and Gloria. And, and no I, was, you know, I, I was at the store here and I, I just I saw these socks and they look, they look nice to me. I'd say, oh, thank you. Look at that. They're my size. Thank you. I had socks aplenty. Oh, man. And I thought, all right, if I can get socks, I can get shorts. If I can get underwear, I can get a suit. Yeah. If I can. Uh, and Jesus just said, whosoever. Whosoever. I have whatsoever. <laughs> now, here's why this is important. I love hearing your story because uh, Dad Hagen, uh, uh, before he went to be with the Lord, the last five or 10 years, something like that, he said, the Lord told him to go back and teach yeah. on the fundamentals, the of, fundamentals of it. He said, because too <clears throat> many of the leaders and pastors, preachers in the body of Christ are preaching or teaching faith from where they are, mm -hmm. not from where they started. That's right. right. He said, and people can't get it from where they are. They got to get it from where they started. So Dad Hagen said he just was going back just to teaching on the basics and the mm -hmm. fundamentals of mm -hmm. faith. And the fundamentals of faith are applicable at every level of faith. Oh, yes, because they are fundamentals. They're fundamental. When you start, you know, I've been flying now for almost 60 years. Mm. So I learned so much through aviation yeah. because it's an applied science. Yeah. Well, the same physical rules mm -hmm. apply. Yeah. And once you, mm -hmm. once you know that, you begin to think. I, I remember when I, Brother Hagen said, now you can't, you can't, you have to, you can't walk by sight. Yeah. You have to walk by faith. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at that and I told Gloria, I said, wait a minute, I already know how to do that. Yeah. She said, what are you talking about? I said, I had, that was the first fundamental thing I had to learn when I started getting me an instrument ready. Or don't fly by your feelings. Uh, yeah. No. Or by sight. They'll kill you. Yeah, now I, I, you know more about this than I do, but I read an article because we fly <laughs> on plane have pilots. But they said if you are not instrument rated, you can only last for 90 seconds if you're flying visual, or your senses will lie to you. Oh, big! Time. You got 90 seconds. It'd like to kill me one time. Not 90 minutes, not 90 days. You got 90 seconds if Man, you don't. If I'm you're telling not you, rated. twice. Hmm. It like got, got me. I won't go into all of it, but you get vertigo. Yeah. And you don't know you have it. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know you have your it. Feelings. You don't know you have yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. And hmm. you're and then suddenly you get in the clouds and you've you've been trying to stay contact uh -huh. and then and then all of a sudden you gotta look down here and you you th but you're you're man, I, mm. this thing's turning. Yeah. I, I gotta straighten it up. Ah. Uh -huh. And wow. you weren't turning at all. Ah, and so you weren't following your instrument. Yeah. And then you come out from under the overcast and you're like this. Ah, wow. wow. And here's what was happening. Wow. Hmm. When it first came out of the war and some single engine airplanes like the Beechcraft Bonanza were very fast. Mm. They come out like this and it's surprising you do this and yank the wings off of it. Oh. Or oh. yank the tail off of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
and uh, and then it just kill you. So that's a, it's a great illustration that living by faith is learning to be instrument rated. Yes. And look into the word. Now, when when I began to see that, and and I realized my feelings uh -huh. mm. and and my natural mind mm. trying to live by faith with my natural fine mind of it'll get you killed. Yeah. The devil will kill you. Yeah. He'll make you think it's going one way and it's going another. Yeah, yeah. And he'll just sneak wow. up there in behind you and nail you with something yeah. that'll, that'll, that'll kill wow. you. Now, or maybe that, kill your family. Sure. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Here's your instrument radio. There it is, right there. <laughs> that's my panel right there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And that, let me, Keep your let eyes me, on it. Let me de demonstrate this. <clears throat> no, I, 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 I can't see out. Yeah. If I walk in the light as he is in the light, yeah. we or I have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus wow. Christ, his son cleanses me from all sin. Yeah. If I say I have no sin, I deceive myself. Mm. Mm. Your feelings. I deceive myself. Mm. Huh. And the truth is not in me. Hmm. If I confess my sin, he's faithful, just, he's righteous to forgive me my sin and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Wow. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, yeah. Amen. I did it. Yeah. I said it, I did it. Yeah. It's not a problem, it's a sin. Yeah. I feel like a dog, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. You're faithful and you're just. Yeah. And and I I received I confessed that sin yeah. I was not in I, I was not willing to forgive that yeah. person yeah. I, the politicians and all yeah and I I did it huh. and I stand here and I I praise you sir and and I'm military minded I was in yeah. the army and I was just stand it just stand at attention hmm. I praise you sir and I and uh, permission. Uh, to be freed of this sin. Thank you very much. I'm, I, I'm, I'm forgiven and yeah. I'm cleansed. Yeah. I'm cleansed. That's wow. All the right time there. I feel like that. Just yeah. shut up. Yeah, yeah. You're cleansed. Now yeah. just shut up. Don't you this say anything true. else. Don't uh, you act any other way. And you put a smile on your face and get up out of the floor and go do business <laughs> because you are forgiven yeah. and you are cleansed. And cleansed from all unrighteousness. All of it. And Smith Wigglesworth said something like this. He said, there is not one thing in me the blood does not cleanse. That's it. From all unrighteousness. So what am I doing? Walking by faith. Walking You're walking by, by faith. faith. The feelings have Not to show up later. Side. Yeah. Now what happens, it's amazing how rapidly yeah. your feelings change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. Because your spirit takes over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you think, <laughs> glory yeah. to God, I'm free of this thing after yeah. all. Now the truth is the blood of Jesus. Yes. And so you you agreed that I did miss it, I, I didn't obey God, mm -hmm. but now I'm agreeing with God yeah, that the blood of blood. Jesus cleanses me from you all sin. You just said what faith is. Yeah. You agreed with God. With God. <laughs> and so that's why Romans 3.25, well, verse 27 says the law of faith. Yes. But Romans 3.25 says, through faith in his blood. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. In other words, to live by faith and to win the fight of faith, the focus of our faith in Romans 3.25 is, is <clears throat> in the blood of Christ. What the blood of Jesus has done for us, what it does in heaven, what it does in us and cleanses our conscience from guilt and shame, and what the blood does over Satan, who's the accuser of the brethren. That's right. So our faith is in his blood. Now then, the people that uh, well, let's say, for instance, the people that are watching us now on direct when before we we were we were just on dish. So there's a, a lot of of new people that have never heard this. Born again people, and a lot of them spirit filled, mm -hmm. and have heard the wrong thing about the word of faith. Mm -hmm. 
The devil is going to fight anything that has any form of power. Huh. Anything that takes, he pulls yeah. him down from his place, he's going to fight it. He started off mm. fighting healing. He started mm. off fighting speaking mm. with other tongues. And he, he just, mm. but you have to remember, he is, he has been brought to naught. That means zero. Mm. That's an accounting term for yeah. zero. Zero. So he's a defeated foe already. Yeah. Now, what is faith? Mm. Faith is a spiritual force. Mm -hmm. Let's look over there at the 11th chapter of Hebrews. Yeah, Hebrews chapter 11. And um, he starts with now faith is. Now faith is the substance. Mm -hmm. Faith is a substance. Mm -hmm. It is a substance. You can't see it, but it it's is a substance. substance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a spiritual substance. Of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, mm -hmm. for by it, by faith. What faith? By faith in God. Mm -hmm. The elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the world's Mm. were framed by the Word of God so that things, natural, physical things yeah. which are seen mm -hmm. were not made of things that do appear or not. They're made out of something invisible. Yeah. I, I've heard preachers say, God created all things out of nothing. No, He didn't. He created <laughs> out of something you can't That's see. Something you can't and see. Faith, faith is not nothing. Uh -huh. It is it's a substance. spiritual force that yes. is so powerful that Jesus said, a grain of mustard seed size yeah. of it. Yeah. Can move a mountain. That's like saying it doesn't take much nuclear power to make a real mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, and, and but look what he said. It was made out of something that you can't see. Yeah. And by something, a force you can't see, Abel offered to God a more excellent mm. sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and mm. by it, him being dead, yet speak. By faith or by, by force, a spiritual force that you can't see, Enoch was translated by a force you can't see. Mm -hmm. And it's right in here. Yeah. That's the reason one of the biggest verses in the Bible is Mark 11, 22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, when you, when you yes. go from Hebrews 11, we're talking about the spirit of faith. And I had a country guy, a redneck, come into my church years ago, and I was preaching on the spirit of faith. And he said, uh, he said, that makes me want to grab a corn stalk and swing out over hell and spit in the <laughs> devil's eye. <laughs> I said, well, uh, I know how you feel, but I never <laughs> said it like that. <laughs> in other words, the spirit of faith gives you such confidence. And uh, the spirit of faith literally uh, feeds on the Word of God. I call it God's Word is a spoken thing. It was yes. spoken before it was written, yes. and it was written so it could be spoken. Yes. And we'd put God's Word in your mouth. I call that mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. <laughs> in other words, yeah. you take God's Word and you breathe in the faith of yeah. God, yeah. the that's God right. kind of faith. And that's the, the substance of our faith. faith. When I, I had a God uh, blessed me with a, and, and allowed me to see this in a vision. It wasn't an open vision. It was a spiritual vision, but I saw it. And I heard what God said when he created Adam. And I let me remind you, the word Adam is uh, blood. Yeah, that's good. This is a blood book. Yeah, it's all, it's all blood, blood covenant. First blood covenant was it, started out. Adam was a man with the blood of God. Yes. There you are. Yeah. That's what causes faith. Yeah. The blood covenant. Confident. Now, oh, that's good. <laughs> he said, I saw him when he, in Genesis 2, 
And I literally, I literally saw this, well, in one and two, well, the first chapter there, in the 26th verse. We already know from this, particularly if you read the book of Hebrews, we know how God did this. Mm -hmm. He spoke these words. By faith, by, yeah. By faith. That spiritual force. It's not something that God has. It's mm. what He is. Mm -hmm. He is love. Yeah. And He has faith, mm -hmm. but He is faith yeah. and He has love. The mm -hmm. thing of it is, reason the love's further is because faith works by love. Yeah. Yeah. Well, He has both. Yeah. <laughs> he is both. Hey, but, God used His faith on purpose in Genesis chapter 1. Yes. Yeah. Now, He said in that 26th verse, let us make man in our image, mm -hmm. in our likeness. He's, and I saw him standing there in front of him. They were exactly the same. Oh, uh, mm. there was no way Adam could, because he's in his image. Mm, yeah. Exactly the same size. Mm -hmm. And over here he said, and he breathed the breath of life in the seventh verse of the second chapter. He breathed the breath of life and man became mm. a living soul. Or the Chumash says, mm. a speaking spirit like God. Mm. A speaking yeah. spirit. He had to be a speaking spirit. He can't release yeah, his faith yeah. like God if he can't talk. Yeah, yeah. He had him like this and he said, man be. Yeah. And our <laughs> likeness and our image. Dominion how? Wow. And it's going right into his nostrils. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. He Adam breathed. didn't hear that. All he heard was, be blessed, oh. multiply. multiply. <laughs> and he became Dominion. a living speaking yeah. spirit like God. Yeah, yeah. And so Adam speaking is a part of, of him being made in the image of God. Yes. So the speaking part of faith, we're talking about the spirit of faith and we're just about out of time right now. And so we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. You're watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. Anytime God wants to change someone's life, he touches their mouth. Never underestimate the power of your voice. The spirit of faith opens the door to the supernatural and enables you to receive from God and fulfill your divine destiny. Lift your voice and open the door to the supernatural in any situation you're going through. In the Spirit of Faith book, Mark Hankins shares valuable truths such as never run at your giant with your mouth shut, how to win the war of words, faith is an act, and much more. The spirit of faith is a pioneer spirit. It enables you to advance, break barriers, and go into new territory. Your gift of any amount will help Mark and Jenna Hankins train believers around the world. Our vision is for believers to catch the spirit of faith, learn who they are in Christ, and to be strengthened by the move of the Holy Spirit. Your love seat will also help us complete our new Mark Hankins Ministry Conference Center. The conference center will help us distribute the word more effectively through conferences and will also serve as our new television studio. For your gift of any amount, you will receive the Spirit of Faith book. Please call 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you, World Missions Partners. Together we can, together we will. Well, I'm sure you've enjoyed these five days of studying the spirit of faith. My life has been changed. <laughs> and with Brother Copeland. All in a day. And it's like a fire lit well, in so here. Well, so is mine. I mean, it, just, just to be <laughs> with you guys is... Oh, it's just wonderful. For we me. are so honored, and and the spirit of faith is something that you're a spiritual father to us. Of course, Dad Hagen and Or Roberts and those that have gone before us, and that spirit of faith is necessary mm -hmm. to do the will of God. Yes, it is, and to follow yes, the plan of God. Mm -hmm. And so we trust you've enjoyed this, and we've got a book called The Spirit of Faith that uh, me and Trina wrote it together several years ago, and uh, this book's available to you. I've got a quote on 
on the back says, if you knew what was on the other side of your mountain, you would move it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's so, good. And so uh, the spirit of faith is available to you, and we make that <clears throat> available, and we believe that if you'll just feed your faith on the Word of God, uh, God will take you places you've never been before in blessing and in His will for you. There your is life. a miracle in your mouth. There's a miracle in your mouth. I believe yes. and I speak. So I dare you to lift your voice and declare and speak the word of faith and declare what God says about you in Christ. And so may God richly bless you and Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. Join Mark and Trina Hankins for an hour of powerful teaching live Monday through Friday on Facebook and YouTube at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Everyone can join In Christ Bible School. Catch the spirit of faith and move the mountains in your life. Watch live wherever you are and learn who you are in Christ. That's live at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. The Mark Hankins Ministries app makes it easy for you to watch the latest TV broadcast. Listen to unlimited full sermons by Mark and Trina. Read our daily devotional and stay connected with upcoming events. Download the app today on any smart device. Simply search Mark Hankins Ministries. Start feeding your faith at any time and anywhere. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. You can access many free word resources to help you find who you are in Christ. Stay connected with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.